Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are playing Strange Horticulture and just as you saw it is Sunday day 10 I think is what it said. We're end of day so let's hit that button. See what tarot card we get. Oh, it's got some holes in it. In time she learned that the sisterhood had secrets or had she always known that? Had she come to them by chance or had she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure. But by now, she knew she, what she wanted, and she would do anything to get it. So this is interesting. What does this even mean? You know, one thing I can count on is these uh, clues and hints and puzzles are getting more and more elaborate as the game progresses. So that's definitely what you want. You know, you want more of a challenge. Now, this will be interesting. 902803. Obviously, this goes on our map. Um, we're going to need to line up two points, I assume, and then that'll give us the location of the third, where we need to go. Now, what are these numbers indicating, though, you know? What's, does that, is that cluing us into where these two things should go? I figure it's just like whatever two towns will fit, you know, and whatever have like an interesting location. I don't know. Let's, um, tell you what, let's, let's open our drawer. Also, we have a second little drawer over here. Can I open that? I don't see the handle there. Is that a handle or is that part of the shelf? Uh, that's the shelf. Um, there was like a little secret drawer right here. We opened it using these buttons. Yes, look, they glow. But we got everything out of it. So I think one of the things we got was, wasn't this elixir in there? I don't know. Well, it's not important. We do have two potential clues here. Well, they're definitely not potential clues. They are real clues. So we've looked over them. Um, this one's a little tricky because we've got to try and identify the plants, um, which we'll use here to make the Baylox elixir. Now, a wonderful, wonderful commenter and viewer, very loyal viewer, pointed out that there looks to be a note over here next to this. Now, I, I totally missed that, but let's see if we can click on it. There we go. Okay, so there's some instructions for this bad boy. Thank you so much for the comment. Appreciate that one. See, I would have missed it totally. I'm just blindly trying to figure this thing out, but it does look pretty self-explanatory. Just put three plants in there and they go together, which is what we were trying to do for the Blaylock's Elixir, a Baylock's Elixir, but... Anyway, let's read this. Okay, Patterson's Guide to Fatal Fungi and Their Antidotes. Spring wax caps, sometimes fatal, can be used to, uh, can usually be cured by taking hop heart boiled in vinegar. Sunset Mountain cap, generally not fa fatal in small doses, use crushed leaves for sour bandy to cure. Okay, from sour bandy. Bishop's Parasol, we have that one. Often fatal, can be remedied using the sap of lemon dandy. Copper Calid, we also have this one. Often fatal, no known cure, yikes. Farmer's Worry, often fatal, an antidote can be used, made, made, uh, can be made using Royal Gentia. Now we definitely have the Royal Gentia, I remember that one too, so this is good, this is good to have. We'll, we'll log that down here in our active letter section. Most importantly though, before we do anything else, I wanna look at my plant setup here. I want you guys all to admire how we've got everything coded in a spectrum of colors. Um, just wanna make sure everything's in place. The computer hasn't moved anything around or, or Hellbore, the kitty, hasn't moved anything. Hellbore, wake up. All right, let's hit the bell. We're definitely gonna do this, but I wanna hit the bell. Just see what the first person's all about. George Campbell, what do you got? My old man reckons there's a plant what can find pots of gold buried underground. Dunno what it's called, but I bet you do. All right, Weeping Bell, do we have that? Last page, please, there it is. A plant that is believed by many to lead to gold. You, oh man, you have, you'll have about as much luck searching for the end of the rainbow. <laughs> Uh, the soft frilled leaves can soothe insects. I'm glad I didn't stop at the first sentence. I almost did. I almost just quit the game and went and bought some of this and went out there, but I'm glad I read that second sentence. The soft frilled leaves can soothe insect bites and stings. It also, it is also known as golden light and sometimes fool's hope. There you go. 
That's me through and through. All right, what do we got? Soft frilled leaves. All right, buddy. We can help you with your weeping bell. Probably, hopefully, maybe. Maybe not, but we'll try. Ah, very distinctive leaves for sure. But one thing I have realized is this game will throw curveballs at you. Let's see, so are they like tiny leaves or something? Right up like this. Could be these. No, no, it's not those. Okay, close. Um, could it be these? No. I'm thinking we might have to do a little bit more exploring. We've got plenty of letters and stuff, so... Yeah, we don't have your weeping blue, sir. Stand right there. Play with the cat. What'd you do with my cat, dude? He's gone. Um, play with the cat. We'll be right back. We are going to leave this person standing there. Alright, someone's commented before. That seems a little bit rude. Well, they didn't say that exactly, but that's what I'm interpreting it to mean. And it is rude, but I also don't care. Alright, um... Yeah, this might be harder than I thought, huh? Just randomly trying different stuff? I mean, what else is there to do, though? I don't have any idea what 902 means. 902-803. 902-803. What could that mean? It's obviously not the coordinates, because the coordinates only go up to 33 in letters. Oh, what's this? Oh! Dang it, there's nothing in 803, though. Dang it, that's close. Yep, no cigar, though, as they say. Um, oh, oh. <gasps> Wait, this is it. Oh, it's the it's the meters, how tall these are. So that's confirmation. 902, 803. This little peak right there. This one. Yes, baby. <laughs> The impressive ridgeline of the crinkle crag stretches across the full width of my vision. Days like today are worth being alive for. A colorful plant stands out amongst the moss. Alright, well, one thing you can definitely say, it's a very well-written game. Why does this sound seem so much louder right now? Everything, I'm, am I going crazy? <laughs> Okay, well, I think I did turn it up, didn't I, in a recent uh, episode. Anyway, let's just go. I turned it down a bit. Uh, let's see. So, what did we get? Did we get a plan for that? Crap, I even missed it. Um, well, I don't think it was the one he wanted, was it? Hmm. There, I should have. I shouldn't close the book so early on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, was, was it this one? This weird boy right here. Oh, there's a spider. Hellbore, get it. Can I squish it? All right, enough playing around. No, I don't think we got it. Even though I'm pretty sure it was this one. This looks new to me. Um, okay, so that means we're heading back out. I will close the book for now because we've got some notes to. Well, that one's not helping, but. That's also nothing, right? Oh, I just archived it by accident. Crap. Hold on, where is it? There it is. Yeah, we don't want to archive that. Go away. All right, so let's read this one here. Briar's Disc often calls... Oh, okay, this is kind of... I believe this one is describing this thing. So this is a Briar's Disc or a Smuggler's Disc. Can be used to send coded messages. The principle is cunningly straightforward. The cold is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of the disk identical size and same symbols. Okay. To encode a location, you would then place the disk over some named point on the map nearby and note whichever symbol is pointing the location. It may be necessary to string multiple symbols together. To reach any other point so again it seems just like instructions for how to use this thing but i'm wondering if there's like a clue in here i don't know but I, these don't really seem like helping me find more plants you know like instruct oh you know what is new though this is a new thing gosforth yeah, I remember this actually came out of that little drawer, the hidden drawer I was telling you about, and I forgot about it. 
we explored every other piece of uh, hint from that drawer, I think, that we were able to, except this. Let's look for a Gosforth on the map. Yeah, maybe that's a place to start. Where's my coin? Gosforth. All right, let me let me have a thorough search. Okay, I have found Gosforth right over here. Looks like it's spelled the same. We've got a coin with your town on it. I should not have come here. Darkness hangs over this town. You know, we've been to this one too. Oh, crap. We've been to this one too because of um, a previous like little rumor or something that popped up. Where's that dang coin? Don't tell me it just literally... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Whoops. So, okay, that's not helpful though. Why did we get this? Can I flip it? No. What's on the other side? You want it? Nope. Dang it. Oh, man. Okay, well, in situations like this, you know what we do. We hit the hint. Hmm, Weeping Bell. I'm sure we have... Seriously? Seriously. That... Oh, my God. Wait. I didn't already identify it, did I? That's not the case, because we... I mean, I guess it's possible I forgot to... No, because the computer wouldn't forget to uh, mark it off our book, right? Or maybe that actually has happened before. Let me look through this. Yeah, but you know one thing? It does say it's known as other stuff. Oh, that's what it is. I bet you we've got it labeled as like Golden Light or Fool's Hope. Are either of those entered in here? EFG... It's not golden light. Fool's hope. Well, um, it still leads me to believe that it's possibly here. No. Anyway, so let me just, I'm going to look through each and every one of these real quick. Oh, golden light, question mark. That's it. Look. Look at the leaves. All right. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, I forgot that we had um, picked this one out basically on just uh, some shaky reasoning here, but soft leaves, that's it. Soft frilled leaves can soothe insect bites. All right. Woohoo. Thank goodness for the hint. Yeah, I would have been totally stumped on that. All right. Wonderful. Now, let's collect our book entry. Lesser Murdoch. Thank you. Uh, was that Mer well, Lesser Murloc? Is that what it said? Okay, now we can... Can I adjust the tag? How do I do that? I probably need to put it back on this, don't I? Yep, there we go. Okay, so... Golden Light... Wait, I guess I can just leave it as Golden Light... Slash... And then if we hit... No, that's not what I want to do. Then if I hit... This Enter button, there we go. We can drop down... Let's move it, and I want to open the book again. What was it called? Uh, okay, it was the Weeping Bell, so let's get that on there. Weeping Bell with two E's. Very nice. All right, that's set. Now we've got one identified. That was the first person for the day, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, that's crazy. All right. Well, put that one right back there. Let's hit the button, or hit the bell. Oh my god, you look like a ghost. I have a task for you that would greatly aid the seeds of redemption. Oh, it's this guy. One of the Dreyer is in town, and we know he's paid you a visit already. No doubt feeding his habit. We suspect he's here to hunt the Drenru. Uh, if he returns, give him some of this. He will make uh, he will make a worthy sacrifice to the Dendru. Let's help him on his way. Jesus! Really? I suppose we're going to have a choice here upcoming. Whether or not we murder a guy, what did we get? Do we even know? Where is it? Wait, did he... Did the, oh, you know what? I think because we were focused on this side, it probably dropped the plant over here somewhere. Dang it. Where is it? 
oh there it is yep i think if you're looking like it'll put the plant wherever your kind of your screen's focused on all right so there it is let's give it a sniff yellow flowers very strong aroma slight slightly uh and any cd i have no idea what that means all right let's put that away will to explore don't need it just yet Every oh sorry hellbore all right i'm heading out on the road again but before i leave i wanted to store some valuables in a safe I don't trust myself to remember the combination, and I certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it. This is where you come in. Surely you've got something up your sleeve for me. Baylox, oh no. Baylox elixir, bro? That's, that's this. Oh lord. Now, I remember we tried to identify, and I think we came pretty darn close to identifying the, le uh, the right plants for this. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this one, oh come on, is this boy on the end. Notice the indentions on the end of the leaves, how they have kind of a dimple there. Two of the little stamen or whatever they are. That's exactly what this is, little dimple or indention on the end of the leaves and two distinct middle parts. Now we've got this one, so I'm pretty sure that's this. But I feel like there was one we couldn't quite find. Is this the other one? Yeah, okay, so this seems to be the other one. I mean, it's... It's possible. It's, the problem is it doesn't describe the plants at all. It just gives us this, these drawings. Which is kind of funny, because like in the beginning, when you read this book, it's got this note from the author, and it tells you literally, based on the book here, not to go by just the pictures alone. And then down the road, we get this. <laughs> but uh, I think we're on the right track with these two. But this last one, a bit of a mystery. We've already got a bit of rising dread, too, so I'm a little bit nervous about like failing something. Could be this one. I right, didn't we try this? Yeah, I think we tried this one and failed. It looks so right, though, doesn't it? Mm. All right, let me look through some of the others. Maybe we'll... I mean, there is also the Butterdale, right? I don't know. That one looks a little bit... Or wait, was it the Winter Boar that we tried? Crap. Ah, uh, I have to go back and check. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we used... The per the this like grayish one here, yeah, winter boar. So, I think I'm gonna try this one because it actually does look extremely similar now that I look at it. It's got the puffy, and it even shows the little specks in the center there. See those? You can even see those in the drawing. All right, let's try these three. Uh, come back over to this side. Yep, there's the other two. All right, I don't. Does wait? Does it matter the order? Okay, so this one's first, then the other pointy boy, and then the dimple one. All right. Now, if we don't get this, I don't know, it might be the end here. We might have to go through another mental puzzle to get our game back, but we'll see. Okay. <gasps> oh, we did it! New, wait, oh yeah, we got an achievement. Master Brewer, I don't know about the master part, but I mean, I brewed something. It was my first thing. I wouldn't go so far as to say master. Where is it? There it is. What is it? A pale blue liquid. Oh, so we don't really even know. Oh, <gasps> Bro. I'm just going to put the label on it so he won't know that we don't know. You know, that's how a real shopper or a real merchandiser does it. All right, let's just use it. Okay. Well, that was it then. Baylox Elixir, guys. We just did it. We get a book entry. <gasps> For spring wax cap. Nice. So we have officially made our first potion here in the strange horticulture universe. You know, I've said it before, but I really wish that I lived in this strange horticulture, horticulture world just because, you know, it's like you've got everything you need just in plants alone. You know, you need to be able to see better or see at night with, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all there in a plant. It's a wonderful place to live, especially with these elixirs now on top of everything else. Who wouldn't want to be a, 
with Hellbore here at the shop, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Leave me a comment down below. I read every one of them and I appreciate guys leaving me tips and stuff. And I will see you on the next episode.